Sagittarius, for those of you with Sagittarius rising, your focus in the month of September will be Virgo season, your 10th house of career. You could get recognition, you could get a pay raise, you could have public appearances that help your career. It's a wonderful time to get credit for the problems that you've solved in whatever area of expertise you hold in the workplace. So Virgo energy is always the master planner, the master problem solver, neat, tidy, always waiting and searching for answers until they have a very orderly presentation. So Sagittarius, I hope you have a great September in the area of career and let's jump into your tarot reading. This is a splendid reading with happiness on all fronts. It is really rather a remarkable reading and let's look at the energy. It looks as though you start the month or at the early days of Virgo season feeling a lot of Pisces energy, feeling a little restless, feeling as though you're underwater on something, feeling as though you don't have answers. When we look, however, <laughs> at your fellow fire sign of Aries. You will master by the end of the month whatever it is that you need to move on. You're going to move rapidly forward with this chariot, moving towards a destination, a goal, a happiness, whatever it is that your heart's desire is, because this is Cancerian energy, what you desire most in your heart space. The energy coming into the month says that you have had some sort of recent celebration, something to be happy about. For some of you, you may be planning a marriage or a wedding, you may have attended one, or you simply may be enjoying the stability and the people in your life that you thoroughly enjoy. Four of Wands energy is Aries energy with that Emperor card. It means that you have really had a good recent situation in which you threw caution to the winds. You have taken a leap of faith to create stability in your life. And now you are wondering when or what will manifest in your life. In the recent past, you've had a great deal of happiness and joy. You've had a lot of celebration. For those of you who are in a marriage or getting married or newly married, these are cards of great security, happiness, and joy. If you have not just recently married, you could be having a resurgence in the love in your life, the people around you, your friends, your family, everything that just brings excitement and joy into your life. This is Happily Ever After and that is what is bringing you to the recent past. Right now the best that you can achieve is to take a leap of faith into the future. It is time to read the hieroglyphics, follow your intuition, take the leap of faith because spirit is here to bring you nine of pentacles energy this is pre-empress energy as we like to call it you are looking fantastic this is virgo energy i feel for many of you the leap of faith and the celebration will be career oriented because look at what we see in the circumstances around you we see a passionate committed person who has followed their heart who has manifested abundance and has created a loyal following and family and stability in your life. The energy around you is one that can be so overwhelming at times. You feel as though your, your life couldn't possibly be better. It couldn't be more beautiful. You may find yourself a lot more emotional right now, but what the heck, if you can't love deeply, what else is there? Your worry, concern, or desire, whatever, however this applies to you, is to use your intuition to have some private time, to have some quiet time. You are in a period of gestation and 
a period of time in which you are searching for answers, but it's at a deeper level. It's quiet. You're having a great deal of gratitude with this beautiful energy. You keep a lot to yourself and you are intuitively very psychic and very telepathic at this time. Your outcome card is the strength card, Leo energy. You have a grand trine of energy, your own Sagittarius. We have the strength card, which is Leo energy. You have great courage right now to make a move that you've been waiting to make for a very long time. This move is might likely to be a career move. It could be anything that you desire in which you've been playing your cards close to your chest. You have the courage, you have the strength, you have the support that you need right now to manifest. We do see the energy of the Eight of Swords. This energy brought you to the reading today, not really understanding something or holding back. You have something that's going on around you in your life that's been very unsettling, and this is your month to make a move to solve this problem. Eight of Swords energy is Gemini energy, and it can be that you've been holding back on saying something or revealing a plan to a marital partner or a significant other in your life. So I'm going to clarify with the or wisdom of the oracle to see what else we can find out in your energy. And as we clarify Sagittarius, I'm going to give you the table shot so that you can see as I discuss things where the energies are flowing and going. All right, Sag, is that not a beautiful reading? It is just a stunning, stunning time in your life in which even if you haven't manifested this energy yet, it is, you're a powerhouse. I don't think you see this coming because we have the overall energy of Neptune. We have Pisces energy. You feel as though for some of you, you feel as though you can't get yourself sort of out of the, out of the dark. And there we go. Donna is really good at dropping cards. Why do we have the moon card is overall energy? Please, Spirit, tell us why we have the moon card is overall energy, as well as the emperor and the chariot card. So we'll get one wisdom of the oracle for each as a clarifier. Ooh, you are imagining. Well, Pisces, Pisces rules music and creativity. So you might be imagining something, but you don't know how to manifest it. So that's what it looks like. That's how I see this coming about this month, is that you have some creative urge. It could be in your dreams. It could be, you know, something that happens in your sleep. Also, it just looks as though you don't know what's going on. So something is happening in your imagination that is, it could be music playing in your head. It could be different ideas about, it could be anything like playwriting. It could be creating almost anything that you can think of we have breathe it looks like you have a certain amount of anxiety the anxiety is complementing this emperor card so you have some anxiety about some move that you'd like to make in business aries is your sister or brother sign and this emperor energy has got a big chess piece waiting to make a move. You're waiting for the right time. Timing is on your side. We get the card of the tribe. So there's something that you want to present to a group of people. I believe that it is very much based on your career with all of the Virgo energy in your 10th house for your solar or rising sign chart. Let's see why we have 
the Four of Wands. But you're feeling joyful, you're feeling celebratory, you're feeling a little bit cautious, and yet you want to know why. So you're searching for your why, the why of what you are going to celebrate. What is it that you want that creates stability? Why do you want it? Why will you throw caution to the winds? So right now, when we look at career coaches, they always say when you find your why, you have your path. And it looks as though you want to move forward on your path, you're, you're nervous, it's okay, it's okay. Going to the sea, looking for answers, holding everything within until you have your answers, Sag. Going to the sea is moving ahead, sometimes it's healing work, sometimes it's just a time in your life when you don't wanna to answer to anyone and you want space. Going the distance, look at this energy. You want to go the distance in a love relationship or an emotional expression. Again, Pisces energy. If you are a dancer, if you are an actor, if you're writing a screenplay, if you are looking to express yourself in a way that's new or novel, it looks as though you are coming up with a plan to do so. For those of you who are married, this is an exquisite time in relationship. It speaks about opening your heart more. It speaks about sharing yourself. The truth be told, you are about to share with a loved one a beautiful energy about what you want, a leap of faith that you'd like to take, a risky move, or what seems like a risk factor move as you move forward in your life right now. You've accomplished so much, Sagittarius. You are in this pre-Empress energy. Why do we have it here? All right, this is Virgo energy. It's time to take a break. We see you have already manifested pre-Empress energy. You're moving into Emperor energy. This is a time in your life when you are allowed to take a nap, sleeping on things, dreaming. That's how you'll manifest. Why do we have the King of Pentacles here? This loyalty that you have all around you. All that is gold does not glitter or all that glitters is not gold. You're really able to intuitively and instinctually dig deep and realize that what you have in your life around you with some people is some drama. That's what's making you feel underwater. You feel as though there is a person in your life that you love very deeply, that's going through a very rough time, and you absolutely know intuitively that you cannot do the work for them. You have a clear understanding. When I get the strength energy, when I get Sagittarius, Aries, and the strength card, I feel that for many of you, this could be a child or it could be someone that you know has to take the leap of faith on their own. That you have to let them grow on their own. Cancerian energy is very much motherly energy. It's parental energy. It's teaching the people that you've brought into this world or anyone with whom you sort of sponsor or act in a parental or loving way. You're going to give them a leg up by being silent and letting them find their joy, find their path on their own. The fates are stepping in. That's very Wheel of Fortune energy. And you know that your person for whom you are asking or wondering about at this time, will they make it? Absolutely, they will make it. But it is so important. The message that I'm getting is it's so important. Even though you're a wise person, even though people come to you for all kinds of advice, you're a powerful giver of advice. You have manifested so much abundance and success, whether it be no matter what the area of your life that it's in, 
you are coming people come to you for wise counsel but it's really important the big message here is to let people find their path that sometimes you have to let the fate step in you've already given this person a leg up they've struggled and to let them clean up whatever it is in their life and it could be for some of you it might be you in a situation but it's time to allow others to take a back to take front seat in their own life you will do it in your life by allowing others to find their own path you will do it in as a leader as this beautiful leader manifesting a lot of love for many of you you might be teachers you might be leaders in industry but at any rate even if you are in a situation where you feel that your job is not very you know prestigious but it it truly indicates that what you do in the lives of others regardless of how you view it is viewed by others as a great gift that you give them let's look at the heart of the fairy oracle and see if we can find some energy here to describe who this person might be in your life it could be self but i don't think it is i think this is a very significant person around you when i get pages and with a strength card again i do feel as though it's children we see children here in the ten of cups happily ever after you've given them a great foundation You've taught them why they should do things. So, but take it as it resonates. Whatever area of your life that this applies to will make it your reading. All right, so why do we have the beautiful moon card here? The queen of the owls, okay. So there is somebody around you that finds stability. This person is very much a person who has wisdom on their own. And it is wise to stay quiet, even if it makes you feel nervous or afraid. You have to juggle this emotion of wanting to help somebody with the ability to allow people to develop on their own, to get themselves out of trouble. It's time to take a nap while somebody else in your life sorts through something that's very significant. The energy of the Lady of Leprechauns. You are a rare person. You are exuding this energy of someone who is very rare and very unique and very wise in the ways of the world. But you also don't let people trick you into doing their work because you know the gift of allowing them to have success on their own, to drive their own chariot. The temptation, though, is with the tribe, which is your family, family of your creation, family of your friends, however you define family in this reading. You are the queen of hearth and home, and so it does tell us what we see here that Spirit is giving us a message about is that you are deemed a special person, that energy of love and the love that everybody comes home to, the person that they always remember. For many of you, you could be a mentor to many people or many young people. You could be a teacher, whether it be grade school, whether it be kindergarten, whether it be university. It doesn't matter. You could be a mentor in the workplace, but your energy is pan. You are elevating people in this opportunity to, to fly, fly birdie, fly. You are going to have the self-imposed restriction because you are the magician. You are going to help the people that look to you for answers right now, Sag. You're going to let them go through learning what it's like to be a magician, a creator. Gorgeous. What do we see about the co-create and the truth be told? The challenge, okay. You, you know, a challenge is a beautiful thing. It's how people learn. It's how the novice, how the high school sc student leaves home and goes out into the world and follows their soul and their heart. Why do we have the beautiful energy of the King of Pentacles, the blessing? You know what a blessing it is for someone to find their own power, their own identity. 
Let's see what these troublesome cards are down here in all that glitters. The Queen of Passage, the Rite of Passage. You absolutely are going to hide your eyes, veil what you see, keep it to yourself. The never-ending story is a fairy of naughtiness. Okay, well, that is very descriptive. So you have a young person around you, most likely, or someone around you who doesn't really see how they get themselves in trouble, but they do it, and they do it with some consistency. We see these little mushrooms all in the dark, and the way to let someone find the open passage to their own hearth and home to their own strength is to let them clean up their own mess and that's what we have clean it up allowing others to grow the shadow of the past nice energy oh Sagittarius whatever you're going through whatever you're trying to achieve right now in your life it looks like you're able to do that I want to get some information here for you about how much you love this person. This is a journey of love, oracle, death. What does this mean for you right now, Pisces? Towering magnificence. You tower above. You allow everyone to find their path, which is their own way to their own magnificence. So it really speaks to the fact that heart of the moment, it is like a real nail biter for you. Knowing without knowing is what your student or your protege or the person you're mentoring, you're keeping it very simple for this person by stepping aside in this beautiful energy. You are giving them the legacy of life and light. We get the man of the earth, the woman of the sky. Again, there we have it, the energy of beauty and intimacy so for some of you you may be helping a child even through a rough marriage or a spot but in the seed of the heart you are coming forth sagittarius as a true enlightened being sagittarius you do rule the ninth house of higher education higher beliefs you go from being um, a person who is inspired to one who inspires others Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions about letting go and letting the people around you love and find their way, you have found your answer. Sending you love. Thank you. Bye-bye.